Welcome back, everybody. Thank you for joining me here today so that we can discuss The Hidden City. So this is the fourth movie in the Bumble Jungle Boy series. This time around, we have kind of two parallel stories happening. There's an expedition that's come to the jungle, and it's being led by a world-class photographer who has heard stories about Bamba, wants to meet Bamba, you know, photograph him, learn about him. And at the same time, part of the expedition being led by this guy is a group of wealthy Middle Easterners, one of whom would like to purchase one of the locals to be part of his harem. Now, the young woman he wants to, to purchase is Leah, who has very little memory of who she is, where she comes from. She's got a lot of, uh, a lot of memory issues. She ends up crossing paths with Bomba, and because Bomba doesn't want to be discovered, and she doesn't want to be, you know, put into this harem, and she also wants to figure out who she is, where she came from, that's kind of the plot lines we have going on here. So I've enjoyed the Bomba series up to this point. It's not perfect. It's, it's you know, super cheap, super, you know, super low budget, but it's been mostly entertaining to this point. I did not care for this one. There's such an emphasis here on narrative, and there's nothing wrong with that if it's a good narrative, but this is just really dull. Nothing really happens here. I understand if you're not so much interested in the adventure parts of the show, then maybe that would be, that would make this more interesting to you, but it made it less interesting to me. There's very little action adventure here. There's a little bit toward the end, but very little. Uh, it's an emphasis on acting and storytelling, and unfortunately, those are not two of this series' strengths. Um, Johnny Sheffield is fine as Bomba, but there's only, and he does get to do more here than normal, but that only goes so far. He's not a world-class, you know, actor. He does what he can do with the material, but unfortunately, this just ends up being kind of dull. Even at 71 minutes, it really feels like it drags. So unfortunately, this fourth installment, I can't give my seal of approval to, but I'm looking forward to checking out the rest of the series. So that's my review of The Hidden City. If you want to check out more, you can go to markfusion.com or go right here on YouTube to my movie review playlist. But thank you so much for watching this video. I greatly appreciate it, and hopefully I'll see you soon.